Following the disappointment of Thursday's defeat, it's true to say that there was no European hangover this afternoon at Leyland Park. Yeah, I thought it was very important that we put on a, um, a professional performance and I would say that's what it was. We knew it would be a tough place to come here, it always is. Very well organised side, they played the 3-5-2 really well, leaving the two strikers on the outside shoulder and it caused us some problems and going in 1-1 at half time we knew we had to maintain our, our calmness and composure and, and really kicked on in the second half. So yeah, very pleased for the players that they fought back there. I mean, it was a tough ask from Thursday. We got back really late, early Friday morning and then to turn it round and there were a lot of tired bodies there. So we had to manage the team and, and give the minutes to the ones who needed it, but then also not make too many changes as well. So all in all, I think just to get the win was, was very important today. The New Saints broke the deadlock in the 24th minute. 16 minutes later, just five before the break, it was 1-1. Did that change your half-time te team talk considerably? Well, not necessarily, no, because they got in three times on the counter-attack. And that, I, th I think that was the second time, and then they hit us on the counter-attack straight after that. So a lot of that was about dealing with the counter-attack in the second half, which I think we did very well. Um, and that was, that was super important, we did that. But then also just to, look, stay calm. Even at one goal, if we were one goal ahead and we hadn't conceded that one, it was very important that we made sure we got the second goal and then the third goal to give us that, that buffer. And I thought we, very professionally, we did that with, with some, a couple of really good, well worked set plays. And we, yeah, we're, we're happy with the win. And although we conceded five minutes one side of the break, we did score four minutes the other side. How important was it to get our noses back in front early in the second period? Yeah, I think it was very important. And like I said, it was from a set play, which is always pleasing. Um, the numbers on those have been excellent so far. Um, Chris Sargent does a lot of hard work on them, so they've been good that they've been coming off and, and was pleased for, pleased for, I think it was Blaine who, who got that goal. And four goals, four different names on the score sheet again. We often refer to that, but it does make TNS difficult to play against if you're an opponent. Yeah, it does. I mean, we've got a midfield runner coming in late in the box with Clarky scoring the first one, a set play um, from Blaine, and then another set play, I think, from Deck, who scored, which is always nice for the striker to get off the mark in the league. And then I think, um, just remind me on the last one, who got the last one? Jordan. Jordan Williams. Jordan Williams got one. So for him, I think he got a goal and an assist coming back into the team was, was really happy for Jordan. So yeah, it was, 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 it was a good day out. And no Keston Davis or Ryan Assels today. Louis Bradford mm. made his league debut and he slotted in well at the back. Yeah, I must say, I thought it was a, a very difficult one for him to come into. They were quite lively up front. They had obviously the big player up there who flicked everything on, the number seven who I'd seen many times and played really well, but probably more in a wide area. Was, was causing a lot of problems in that game. He's a quality player, quick on the counter attack and gets in between people. So for Bradders to deal with him well, I think he did excellent. I think he was calm and composed on the ball. And for him, yeah, he probably disappointed he didn't keep the clean sheet, but I thought he showed good maturity and, and he can clearly play at this level. So very pleased for him with his first start at TNS. And as far as the clean sheet is concerned, how disappointed are you with that? Or is it all about the three points this afternoon? Well, I think this afternoon was about the three points and not necessarily the performance. I think that it wasn't our best performance. We can perform a lot better than that. We've got a lot more to come from both uh, an in possession and out of possession side. But I think that today we said, look, it's not going to be, it's going to be a different game to what we experienced in Europe. And, and that certainly was, we dominated a lot of the ball. Whereas before in Europe, we didn't have a lot of the ball. And that was always going to be a, a tough thing that we need to get back to. Um, so we said, look, we wanted to make sure we get the f three points first and foremost. So we were happy with that, especially with 1-1 at half time. And then finally, next week, it's back to Park Hall. It's Carnarvon Town. You have a full week now, not only to prepare, but also to rest. Yeah, that's right. We'll get a few bodies back, which will be good. We'll do our recovery and work during the week. Um, I watched Carnarvon in their game yesterday, and they've got a few threats in their side. They've added well, I think, signing-wise as well. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. And, and remember them well from last year. So we'll, we'll be back on it this week and make sure we try and push to get three points again.